Hey you guys, so I'm here with a hair video. I haven't done a wig video on myself in so long. Don't judge me, it's been a busy year, okay? And that's all I can say, but let's get into this hair. I haven't had a long wig that's sleek and straight for so long. Look at how gorgeous this hair is. So let's get into this hair. This hair is from Elfin Hair. If I'm saying the name wrong, the name will be listed in the description box. They went ahead and they sent me three bundles of hair with a lace closure. They sent me 126, 124, and 120 inches bundles of straight Brazilian hair with the lace closure. And it went ahead and also sent me some goodies in the box. So let's go ahead and start with the process of making this wig. Starting off with a BW2 bleach. I'm using the BW2 bleach and I'm mixing it up with a 30% developer. And I'm gonna mix it into a little thick um, concentration. Don't make it watery because I don't want the, the um, bleach to bleed through the lace. So I make it thick as possible. Then I just use a knife and I smear it all over the closure. Before we make a wig, we gotta bleach them knots, girl, because we do not want them black knots under the wig. You want to make your wig look as natural as possible. So once the bleach is on there, I let it sit and I let it process for about 30 minutes. Once it's processed and those knots are bleached into our tan, color I go ahead and use my purple conditioner and my purple shampoo and wash out the closure now we're gonna get into making this wig starting off with this cap this is the cap that I'm using it left for you wherever cap you want to use for making your wig. That's you, girl. But this is the one I use for myself. And sometimes when I do do my clients, I usually use the dome cap or I use the mesh cap. So it all depends on your preference and whatever works for you. Taking the closure um, to map out this wig, I usually place the closure like about an inch um, off the cap. I bring it a little bit forward so when I do cut the cap underneath, it sits perfectly in line with the um, tracks. So once I place the cap down um, in its position right, I usually braid the hair in the front and remove it out of the way. And then I take my needle and thread and I begin to sew the closure down. This is the very first step that I do when making a wig. Back in the days, girl, when I used to make wigs on YouTube, I used to make them wigs with my hands and I will sew the track on now girl I've upgraded to the sewing machine okay so if you want to full details on how to make a wig on a sewing machine that's a separate video 
that needs time to be processed, okay? So I'm just giving you a quick glance of how I mix my wigs on a sewing machine nowadays. So the first thing I do is take a measuring tape, I place it on the back of the cap, and I draw my lines. The lines are guides to help place the tracks at the right position, and it guides me when I'm using the sewing machine. That's the purpose of making the lines for the sewing machine. Once after drawing those lines on the cap, it's time to move on to the sewing machine itself. And girl, you have to know how to use a sewing machine in order to do this step, okay? Um, you have to know how to use a sewing machine. You need to know the settings on a sewing machine. You need to know what needle and what type of thread to use for the sewing machine to make a wig. That's a whole nother process for another day. But once you know all of that, then girl, we can get to this part, okay? So you remember the closure that I sewed down with the needle and thread first in the beginning? This is it still. I am going to use a sewing machine now and sew it down on the cap just to make sure that cap is secure and the closure is in place. And once your closure is sewn down and it's secure and it's in place, we're going to cut that extra cap underneath at the end. But moving on to the tracks, I usually double my tracks. This just helps to make the wig fuller. Um, if you like, you can always sew the two tracks together first. A lot of people do it. I use the sewing machine. I personally, especially for my caps, I don't. Okay, so I do do it when I do do my clients, but this is for me. So I feel like I didn't want to take the time to sew down the both, cap, the both tracks together in order to double the tracks. But I'm still doubling um, the tracks using all three bundles of hair. And I'm going to use the line as a guide. This just helped me uh, place the tracks down at the right spot and it just makes things easier when using the sewing machine And right now, I was using the 26 inches, which um, was the long bundle, the longest bundle. And usually it goes about three, maybe four lines, but usually it's three lines depending on how long the tracks are. But I usually go like three lines um, um, at the back of the cap. So now I'm gonna move on to my second bundle and I'm going to do the same process and just um, use the lines as a guide and go ahead and place the double tracks down and continue making this wig. We're almost done with this cap right now. I'm in the middle of making this wig. I'm in the center part of the cap. Uh, once I sew the second bundles down and then as I get closer to the closure, it gets a little bit difficult pulling the cap under um, the needle um, in a thread. It gets a little bit difficult. This part, you have to be really patient and take your time. It can get jammed with the hair being so close together. All of that is a whole process, so you have to be very careful. Um, you can break a needle, you can mess up the thread. So many things can happen in this process, but you just have to be as careful as possible once you are making your wig. And girl, now we add the top of the closure piece. Taking the last and final track, 
This is the track that gets attached to the closure to close up the wig and make the wig look flawless, okay? This last track, I do not, I repeat, I do not use double track for this process. I only use one track. Using double track at the top of the closure makes the closure around it boggy and it doesn't lay a flat on the sides. So I always and always only use one single track to be attached to the closure and that's the track that I sew down with the closure to finish up making the wig. And now the hard part is over of making a wig. It's time to move on to the styling of the wig. You can't make a wig without styling it. So let's just jump into styling this wig. When it comes to your closures, your lace frontals, your 360 lace closures, whatever closure that has lace, your frontal wigs, your hot comb. In Africa, we call it pressing comb your hot comb will be your best friend okay i cannot stress how sleek the hot comb will make your lace closure okay next thing we're gonna do is pluck it out you want to pluck it out you want to use uh tweezers and make sure it's the right type of tweezers the slanted tweezers and you want to plug the front part out this just gives you a more natural look in the front. The um, lace doesn't look bulky once you use your tweezers and you pluck it out. And you also want to use your tweezers and pluck out the part. Whether you have a side part or a middle part, you always want to pluck out your part. Plucking out your part will make your wig look flawless regardless. Always, I cannot stress it enough, always pluck out your parting space on your wig. It opens up the wig, it makes the wig look flawless. The front part of the wig, once you tweeze it and pluck it out, girl, you will have a natural hairline that will not make your wig look bulky. It will make your wig look natural and flawless. 
And yes, we know it's not your real hair, but girl, we are gonna know, make a sense and make it look like it's our natural hair. And that, okay, and that's on period. Now moving on to flat ironing this wig. We got a little make it sleek, okay, cause it's a straight hair. So for um, flat ironing, I'm just using some heat protector. I am spraying it on the entire hair. And then I'm using my flat iron and I'm just flat ironing the entire wig just so it gives me that nice and sleek look. And that is pretty much it for making this wig and styling it. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this video. Okay, let me know if you want a full details on how to make a wig on a sewing machine and details about sewing machine because that's another video for another day, okay? But check out Ifran Hair. I will leave all the links in the description box if you guys want to get into this beautiful hair, okay? That is it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I will catch you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.